Thanks for joining me on episode 414 of the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. I'm Joel Hallbaker, teacher, speaker, and author of Inverted Leadership. I challenge you to invest in yourself, invest in others, develop your influence, and impact the world by using your time, your talent, and your treasures to live out your calling. Having the ability to lead through confident humility is key. And one way to be inspired to do that is to listen to this, the Inspired Stewardship Podcast with my friend, Scott Mater. Whether it's financial, whether it's time, or whether it's leadership and talent, the truth is that in all of those cases, there's always things that you need to give up and things that you need to hold on to. And the trick is identifying which is which. Welcome and thank you for joining us on the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. If you truly desire to become the person who God wants you to be, then you must learn to use your time, your talent, and your treasures for your true calling. In the Inspired Stewardship Podcast, you will learn to invest in yourself, invest in others, and develop your influence so that you can impact the world. In today's episode about impacting the world through stewarding your talent, I talk with you about why persistence is key, the difference between being persistent and being stubborn, and why surrounding yourself with the right people is a key to persistence. You've heard me talk about developing your talent, and one of the best ways to do that is through books. But if you're like most people today, it's hard to find the time to read. And that's why today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Go to inspiredstewardship.com slash audible to sign up, and you can get a 30-day free trial. There's over 180,000 titles to choose from, and you can pick one and listen your way to developing your talents via Audible. That's inspiredstewardship.com slash Audible to get your free trial and listen to great books the same way you're listening to this podcast. If you scrolled around on social media or talked to a friend whenever you were trying to work hard on some goal or some activity, you've probably heard the old expression, you know, winners never quit and quitters never win. And there's a lot of truth to that. You know, this is one of those expressions that in some ways has sort of a a half truth. The truth is that persistence, continuing to work on something little by little by little, day after day after day, keeping a constant sense of pressure and forward progress is incredibly important for long-term success. You know, the truth is sometimes being the person that just continues to try a little harder, a little longer is enough to cause you to be the one that comes out on top or that comes out having lived your dream, that comes out having done something that others look at and say had an impact on who they are and how they are and what they've done with their life. It, it can cause an impact on your family. It can cause an impact on your life indeed. Persistence is one of those key traits The ability to keep going when others would quit is really one of the true things that you can point back to, and almost every person that's made an impact has that sense of persistence. It really is a key. It's important. But the funny thing is that expression, you know, winners never quit, quitters never win, also has a falsehood in it. You know, most people that win, most people that have success actually do quit. They quit a lot of things. The difference is what they quit. You know, persistence is being able to keep going forward when others would quit. It's it's the ability to recognize that discomfort is not a reason to quit. It's the ability to recognize that small setbacks are not a reason to quit. It's a The ability to recognize that even large setbacks may not be the reason 
to quit. That reasons to quit are things like your direction has changed, your goal has changed, the stage you are at in life has changed. Reasons to quit are because something holds you back from living out your passion or your dream, and so you should quit that something. Those are reasons to quit. See, the difference between being stubborn and being persistent isn't about quitting or not quitting. It's about choosing what you quit. See, stubborn people will continue to fight for something, not because it's the right thing to fight for, but just because they're unable or unwilling to be uncomfortable with change. They're unwilling or unable to make shifts in who they are and what they do that would drive them forward. See, persistence is continuing in the face of discomfort and adversity for something that's really worth it, that's going to make an impact on you and your life and others and their life. Stubbornness is holding on to things because this is who I am, this is what I am, this is how we've always done it. And this is what I've always done. We've talked before about how fear can hold you back from success. Well, fear can hold you back from persistence and keep you just stubborn. Identifying the right things to give up and the right things to hold on to is so important to success. That's what determines whether the persistence is really worth it and whether the persistence is really a success trait or whether you're just lying to yourself, and actually you're stubborn. This is why surrounding yourself with wisdom is so important. Whether it's a coach, whether it's a mastermind group, whether it's your spouse, whether it's a family member, whether it's a fellow mentor, somebody else in business, or somebody else who knows something about you and your business, surrounding yourself with people that can speak into your life and say, no, no, that, that you hold on to, that you double down on, that you try just as hard. You get up and you do it again because I know you had a setback. I know it hurt. I know it's uncomfortable, but it doesn't matter. It's important. That's who you are. That's your identity. That's what you're called to do. Hold on to that and keep going because you've got to keep going. That's what God's calling you to do. Or the right people that can look into your life and go, I know that that's comfortable. I know that it feels good to stay there. But staying there is not what you're called to do. You've not got to get up and move. You've got to give that up. You've got to stop doing that. That behavior is holding you back. It's, it's a paradox, but there are times where the best thing to do to move fast is to move slow. And then there are other times where the best thing to do to move fast is to actually move fast. And surrounding yourself with wise insight is what lets you know what do you hold on to and what do you give up. You know, I do a lot of work around habits and mindset and behavior, whether it's financial, whether it's time, or whether it's leadership and talent. The truth is that in all of those cases, there's always things that you need to give up and things that you need to hold on to. And the trick is identifying which is which. And that's where wise counsel, that's where a coach can help you. That's where reaching out to somebody else can help you. So if you're having trouble with that, if you're having trouble with identifying what should you hold on to and what should you give up, reach out to me, reach out to another coach, find a good mastermind group. This isn't about hiring me. This is about finding wisdom and seeking that out so that you can give up the right things and persist in the right things and live out your calling. Thanks for listening. Thanks so much for listening to the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. As a subscriber and listener, we challenge you to not just sit back and passively listen, but act on what you've heard and find a way to live your calling. 
If you like this episode on the stewardship of talent, you can go over to inspiredstewardship.com slash talent and sign up for our five-week series on the stewardship of talent. Or if you're in the U.S., you can text 44222 talent tips that's talent tips to 44222 and get those tips until next time invest your time your talent and your treasures develop your influence and impact the world